when I said to my closest friend, one of my closest friends, I'm going to South America, and she's like really beautiful and really glamorous. She's like, no. And she did this impersonation of me returning to Liverpool as a hippie. And I can't do it because she's way more talented than me at these things, but it was something like, oh man, and it was so cool, and I got these banana skin flip-flops made by this guy on the beach. I came to, uh, to Colombia because, as I said, every, every, literally every single person that I met traveling was like, there's this golden place at the top of South America called Colombia. I've just bought some sofas. I want to put that on record. I just don't have the money to collect them yet because when I collect them, I have to pay for them. <laughs> and that makes me a good person. The only way to walk in Bogota is to look at your feet. Because if you don't look at your feet, you're going to fall in a hole. I wasn't supposed to come to Colombia. Me neither. And everyone was like, you this have place to go to like Colombia. Holy land. You have to go to Colombia. That's exactly right. Yeah, and now I'm one of those really annoying people who says, you're not going to Colombia, are you crazy? Yeah. And they say, no, Colombia's full of drugs and, and war. I say, are you joking? Like, there's just a coffee shop opposite my house and nice boulevards and green trees. Yeah, we have some problems, but, but yeah. it's not a reason not to visit. Actually, I get really anxious when I have to leave the city. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I get, I get itchy feet because I was traveling before I came here. So sometimes I feel like, ooh, not not that I want to go back to Australia. I'd love to see my family if I could sort of transport them here for a few days until we get angry at each other, of course. and then put them back totally. You don't have to call it my blog. Call it my baby. I called it banana skin flip-flops to remind me of what I was. And, uh, and yeah, it's great. And do you know the irony? Is that that name was great, but then I came and decided to move and live here. And banana skins, obviously you slip on banana skins and anything can happen when you trend a banana skin because you can go in any direction. And a flip-flop is a shoe. So it was like shoes made of banana skins because I was just skidding around all the time trying to negotiate everything from the bureaucracy to the housing situation, to the dating situation, to the language, I was just mm. So, it worked out quite right as a name, really. Is it No. 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 I don't write anything particularly controversial. It's not journalism. I always try to say to people, some of the biggest criticisms are, I can't believe this is coming from a journalist. And I try to say, look, I am a journalist by trade, but that doesn't mean everything I do carries journalistic values. The blog is not journalism. It's not objective. I don't do excessive amounts of fact-checking because everything I write is anecdotal. I make it clear it's anecdotal. I write about my friends, I write about my idiot boyfriends. It's all fun stuff, you know? Without, with any type of volunteering, it's never necessarily about the task, it's about the interaction. So 
So it's about the quality of interaction and about having a positive experience for people um, to have a, a haven or a safe place that they can come to and feel good. Uh, well, um, a very good friend of mine is the part owner of Lavia. Um, she's really popular here, everybody knows her, she gets on real, really well with everybody so we sort of tend to migrate there because it's a little bit like a home from home <laughs> uh, because there's always loads of British people, loads of Aussies. Some of my best friends here are international um, women and men who have come to Bogota for a reason or who have ended up here like I have just because they came and they loved it and they stayed. Um, some of my, yeah, I'd say some of my best friends like Vicky um, and another friend Gemma, Caroline and many other people uh, are foreign and it's nice to have that sort of social support network. People who are lucky enough to come to Colombia and lucky enough to come to Bogota realise, hang on a minute, this is an amazing city that if I live here I can do some amazing things with my life which I might not be able to do at home. And I've really noticed that most of the people I meet, foreigners and Colombians, are really creative. Um, they're always doing something. Like I have a lot of friends who are graffiti artists, I have friends who are more traditional artists, I have friends who are musicians, um, maybe they make music videos, they do all sorts of different things and these people are always doing something creative on the side of what they do because often in the creative industries there's not a lot of money. I think that Columbia has opened up relatively recently. I think that there is a sense of excitement and that the people here that I meet, the Colombian people that I meet, are very uh, enthusiastic about learning about new cultures, about uh, improving their own in whatever ways that they might imagine that to be. Um, and I think that, that for me as a foreigner, I can definitely, I definitely understand why people would want to be here. It's an amazing, amazing place. Obviously, I believe in immigration. I think if you have lots of different people coming into your country and people leaving it too and coming back with new experiences, all those things add together and they create a culture and an environment for things to change. Like they challenge you, they bring new experiences, they make you think differently about the way you live, the way you create. Um, so as, as immigration increases in Colombia, particularly in Bogota, I think those things are going to start to happen. But obviously I'm an immigrant, so I'm pro-immigration and I think having new people in your country is always going to be a good thing, but maybe not everyone would agree.